everybody, welcome back to Testing Basics and thank you very much for watching. Today we're going to be doing straight leg jeans. I've been a little bit stuck on what to do at the moment because it's kind of an awkward time of year. There's not that many great things in the shops and the new like spring summer stocks coming through but it's still too early for me to actually start wearing them on a day to day basis. So I did ask you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see um, and I've made note of everything that you all said and if you look in the description box I'm going to have written out a schedule of what is going to be coming up in the next coming month. When it's kind of that in between season, feeling uninspired by everything in the world <laughs> times, um, I guess it's a good time to update the absolute foundation of your wardrobe, the most basic of the basics. So we're going to do straight leg jeans. Now before we get straight into it, the thing with straight leg jeans is that the style of a, what is online called a straight leg jean can really, really vary. Some of these are skinnier, they're all actually relatively cropped, but the rise can be high rise, mid rise, low rise. There's loads of subtle differences um, and I think it's a bit of trial and error will take for you guys to find the perfect style for you and um, that hopefully this will help. So as always, five high street to high end, let's start with ASOS. Normally in ASOS I get a waist 26, ideally I am a waist 27, um, but ASOS don't do odd jean sizes. Um, but the waist 26 was super, super, super tight and very skinny. So I ended up swapping them for a waist 28 leg like 32. And they are still the skinniest out of all the jeans that we have here, but they are a straight leg just. They don't look as loose fitting as they do on the model. I'm guessing my legs aren't as thin as hers, but they are just about a straight leg. And they have a deconstructed hem with a step at the back and a frayed hem. And it needs a bit of extra fraying. You know, you can always just put jeans in the wash when they come like this and it will give it a much better, more natural looking fray. Um, and we'll be washing these jeans anyway within the video. So hopefully, if that works, I'll be able to show you what I mean by that at the end. These are £28, super affordable. That's even really good for ASOS denim. I swear their jeans are normally like 35 So that's really good. Anyway, let's move on from there. Next up we've got, what have we got next? Oh, Gap. Oh, this is an exciting one. Right, so they have this style in tons and tons of different colours actually and the exact name of it is going to be written on the screen here because it's a long flipping name, vintage, straight leg, something or other, denim, jean, whatever. I went for the white pair because I'm very into white denim at the moment and I thought it would be a good way to show you guys how you can style this up. It's a good piece to buy now for spring and summer as well. Um, initially when I opened them, I hated this rip here because it looks like it's meant to be on the knee but it's just that I'm tall and it's not because it's kind of mid thigh and it looks a bit weird but now I'm wearing them I actually don't mind it all, I quite like it now but initially I hated it. These are an absolutely great fit, they sit at a really really good mid rise height which I find really really flattering and they fit really well over the hips and over the bum. Sizing wise I got a waist 27 regular leg. Um, and as I said, if you don't fancy white jeans, I know they're a bit of an acquired taste. They have them in tons of different washes. They have different distressed styles as well. You know, the ASOS denim has a bit of stretch in it. Not very much, but a little bit. These have no stretch in them at all, but they are a relatively thin denim. So they're not super, super, super heavy and thick like, say, a pair of vintage Levi's would be. Um, but they, I really like the fit. That, that's kind of neither a positive or a negative. That's just more of an observation. Uh, because they look great on. So that was Gap at, how much were they? £49.95. Strange storage price Gap, just call it 50 quid. Next up we have, what do we have here? Um, oh, and other stories. Okay, so these were £55 um, and these are, I really, really like these. So these have a slightly higher waist than the Gap ones, but st I would still class it as kind of mid to high rise. They're not super high waisted at all. Um, and then again, they have this frayed hem. The difference of the fr like they fray their hems much better than ASOS. Let me just compare them. Neither of them have been washed yet. And you can see this has a much more natural, effortlessly look where this looks like someone has cut the bottom of the jeans. Does that make sense? So they have a better frayed hem. They're a um, washed black, which I'm really into at the moment. I really find it. Oh, lost me notebook. Um, yeah, I find it really easy to wear and style. And I got these in a what size in a waist 28 oh my god yeah because i tried on a waist 26 and i couldn't even do it up not even close like that i just couldn't so 28 um if like me you're an odd size maybe go size up so moving up from 55 pounds to 98 pounds we have 
All Saints. Um, so these ones are called a boyfriend jean online. This is where it can be kind of confusing, um, but they're absolutely a straight leg style. The main difference in these um, is that they are low rise, which I kind of have my reservations on. I'll speak about that a bit more later on in the video. I've gotten so used to seeing myself in a mid rise jean that wearing low rise is, just feels really, really strange. Um, but they, they work well with the low rise because they have this zip ring pull on the fly, which I really like. There's kind of the detail on them that makes them a little bit different. They have, it's not frayed, but they have a worn edge on every single edge of the denim, around the waistband, around the pocket, and also on the bottom, but it isn't frayed. It's just that kind of worn in look, which is, is really nice actually, and is really well done. It does just look genuinely worn in. Again, they're a washed black. They're very, very short in the leg and very cropped. And because it's a low rise denim, it just looks like there's absolutely zero length in that jean at all. Um, for reference, I'm about just under five foot eight ish, five foot seven, five foot eight. So um, you can get an idea for what that looks like on me. Sizing wise, as always, I go for a waist 27 with All Saints. I don't think, no, they don't state their leg length. Um, I would say these would fit like a leg 30, really, though, because they are. Very, very short. Shorts to them, all the others so far. Okay, so at the top one, I need to remind myself how much these ones are. These were £145. Um, and they, you guys know that I'm not a big advocate of super high end denim. Like, you know, when you go into the realms of two to £300, I've yet to have a pair of jeans that I feel is absolutely worthwhile spending that much money on. I think you can get jeans that expensive that you love, but you can also get ones you love on the high street. So £150 seems like a really good price point for a bit of luxury, um, but not the mega premium in the denim world. And this is by a brand which is relatively new to me that I'm really, really, really liking. It's called Ray. It's available on Matches, which is where I ordered them from. None of the ones in this video have been gifted, actually. These are all ones I've bought myself. Um, so yeah, available matches and it's a really beautiful denim brand, I have to say that this is the second pair I have from them and I really have been impressed with the brand so far. Uh, similarly to ASOS, they only do odd, no sorry, they only do even waist sizes and go up not down. I've actually in the process of swapping these exact pair because these are a waist 26 and they like dig into me no end so I'm going to swap for a waist 28. Um, but in the cutaway I'll have on the waist 28 so what you're seeing now will be the size that I've gone for um, but yeah these are a beautiful denim they're just the perfect weight of denim it's like a mid weight with a great structure it's not going to be uncomfortably stiff at all but it's stiff enough to hold its shape and to just look like a really really luxurious and lovely denim and um, it actually if I had to compare it it's feels the most similar to the and of the stories ones but slightly smoother and slightly softer while still being thick feeling and structured and um, the one thing I will say is they look completely different online as they do when you get them online they look really really long on the model um, and it just lists the model's height she's like a similar height to me I think maybe a bit taller and they're like they're super long if you go you go, go and look at the picture of the model they look so long they're not at all I, I did look at the measurements of them before I ordered them and thought I'm sure that's cropped because it's like a 30 inch leg um 30.7 inches I think it said so and they are they are a cropped jean so I don't really know what's going on there it's a bit confusing um but go off what they look like on me as opposed to the model because they do come up cropped Okay, so that's all the jeans that we have this time. Um, you know the drill, I'm now going to wear them over the next five days and then I'm going to wash them all at the end. They'll all be washed in exactly the same way and we'll see how they fare in the wash as well and then share final thoughts with you on them all. So let's get into the next bit. This, the next bit's always my favourite bit actually, I really like this bit. Good morning guys, I've got on the under the stories one today. I actually wore them last night as well. Um, and they've been super, super comfy. I'm just going home, so I am quite casual today. Um, I've just got on a skinny grey turtleneck. Where's it from? It's from Kos. It's a big jumper, which is by Madden All Guard. Got it off Zalando. Um, it's really cosy, actually. The pants, and then because I'm just driving, I just got my Gucci loafers on, even though it's not really low for weather. It is raining. Um, but yeah, these are really, really comfy. The mirror's here, actually. I'm just, I'm just gonna have a look. They fit really nice as well, and they, they're not too tight. I like the length of them. I'm really, really, really liking these so far. I really like the wash. Harry, do you like these jeans? Yeah, I do like the colour. I like the colour. It's nice, isn't it? So yeah, these are the two times that I've worn them so far. 
very good. Just tucking my jumper back in now. The mirror's there, which is what I'm looking at. Um, but yeah, comfy outfit basically for the weekend. So I might show you, um, I might make sure to show other outfits with these as well because I wore them quite dressed up last night. Um, and they work really well for evenings as well, so I'll make sure to show you an evening look through this too. Hey guys, I've got on the All Saints jeans today. Um, I feel a bit meh about them really. Um, I don't think they're overly flattering. They're comfortable, but I'm so used to having a higher rise that when it's sat at this point on my hips, I just feel like it is falling down even if it's not. Anyway, I've got the one with my Kurt Geiger boots, this really, really nice pale pink jumper which is from Jaeger and it's got like a V at the back. I don't think you could see that all <laughs> there. And then my Oakwood coat from Zalando. We're just going to the pub. It's our six year anniversary today. So we're off for something to eat at a pub to celebrate, nothing fancy. Um, but yeah, all Saints jeans. I've had them on all day as well. It's like half two now. Um, and they've been comfy, they're just not, I mean they're so, like, it's such a short jean, there's hardly any length in it here and I have long legs, bear that in mind when you're looking at this and I don't find them flattering and I think the shorter your legs were the worse they would look, like they're just not, they sh shorten your legs, don't do anything to lengthen them really so I'm feeling a bit, a bit meh about these ones. Hey guys, it is white jeans day, I haven't had these on for a long moment but I'm going to wear them for the rest of the day, like a weather through the evening. But yeah, these are the gap ones. Once they're on, actually, this annoying rip, which I initially didn't like, isn't as annoying. Um, so I'm wearing them with my Dear Francis Spirit boots, the newest ones. Oh, this is, I like, wear this outfit pretty much all the time at the moment. Topshop faux fur coat that I'm so obsessed with and it's so warm, so just been like throwing it on most days. And then my Lara Du Cashmere knit that I also wear whenever I possibly can. So you've definitely seen this kind of outfit from me before. Um, again, I'm gonna try and film like some extra outfits with these white jeans, even if I don't wear them, just to show you them for different ways to style white jeans, because I know they can be quite difficult. Um, I'm also gonna do a blog post about it. So hopefully I should have some inspo for you there with them. They're really comfortable. They're like the com most comfortable ones I've worn so far because they're the softest, thinnest denim actually. They're definitely the thinnest, but it makes them very comfortable. Hey guys, uh, please excuse how much of a slob I'm looking like right now. It's quite late on in the day. It's like almost six o'clock and I'm just on my way out to get a train to London because I'm going to Copenhagen tomorrow. I've got an early flight. Um, so I've had the top, the, not top shop, the ASOS ones on all day long. Um, and they've been really comfortable, but I don't think they're my favourite in terms of how they look really. I guess they do well to demonstrate just how different a straight leg style can be, um, because they're just so much skinnier. Um, outfit wise, I'm so sorry to be wearing this Topshop coat again. I'm just a little bit obsessed and it's so cold and just needs to be practical, but I'm also going to fly in this outfit as well tomorrow. So I have on the Topshop coat, a turtle neck which is from Isla Moran, this belt which is from Aritzia and then my really really scruffy and old converse and um, but yeah bit of a boring look I'm afraid I'm really sorry that everything's a bit of a bit samey at the moment I'm like going through that phase in my wardrobe um, and yeah they're, they're fine the jeans are fine just not my faves in terms of how they look hey guys welcome to the last day of jeans wearing I have been on a flight this morning home from Copenhagen and have been sat working in these for a while and they're the Ray ones by the way. Um, so I said in the beginning how I'd ordered a waist 26 initially and then changed for a waist 28. These fit absolutely perfectly. The 26 I couldn't, I could just about do up but they like, you know something so tight it gives you tummy ache almost instantly, it was like that. And um, the length of these is absolutely great. I love the wash, everything and they have been so comfortable. To say obviously I've taken a flight as well, which is never the most comfortable of experiences. Um, I feel like I'm in no rush to take these off and put my comfies on. I really, really, really like them. So my outfit's been a bit boring and casual because of flying, obviously. So I've just had on my old scruffy Converse. This really, really nice turtleneck with a um, ring pull, which is for minimum by Zalanda. And then I also wore my acne leather jacket, which is new. Um, which obviously makes things a lot more exciting, but I have been super, super, super cash. Um, all the outfits in this video have been kind of casual, haven't they? I think I'm going through a bit of a don't know what to wear moment, but these jeans, I really, really, really like them. The fit, I think out of all of them, these might be the best fitting ones. They feel 
I feel really good in them basically. So. Okay, so all the jeans have just come out of the wash. As always, I've washed them all exactly the same and there has been no major changes whatsoever. The hems have frayed a little bit, which I will discuss further. Um, I did expect that to happen. It is a good way to kind of fray any hems further if that's the look you want to go for. Um, just to be clear, I wouldn't recommend washing your jeans after just wearing them once. I wash mine as little as I possibly can. Um, just means they last better for longer. Um, and if they have things like frayed hem, the more you wash them, the more frayed it's going to be become and it could get sort of to the point where it's a little bit too much of a fray. Um, you'll see what I mean when I start showing you them. So yeah, they're all fine though. They've all come out of the wash absolutely fine. There's been no changes. And I do like all of these jeans. I recommend all of the pairs. Um, so I'm gonna be quite picky here and it's gonna be kind of very much based on my personal preferences and how they fit and styled for me um, because I do think there are five decent pair of jeans here. So for the bottom place, it's just gonna to have to be the all saints pair and um, they're my least favorite out of all of them and it is a shame because i absolutely love the ring pull on the zip and i feel like if they were just a little bit more of a higher rise i would have absolutely loved that it looked so cool with a knit tucked in when you can see the zip and stuff like that but they are such a short leg jean that i'm pretty tall and most of the height is in my legs and these really cut my legs off and make them look a lot shorter so if you just had even like a normal leg length or you were slightly smaller, I think they would be so unflattering because they really, really cut the leg off and, and just make it look shorter and shorter. So they're not the most flattering. I think they're probably the least flattering that I've got here actually. To say these were £100, I don't feel like flawed about them. I'm just a bit like, nah, yeah, they're fine. So they're in the last place. Next one, I'm going to put the ASOS ones, and also this is very much like personal preference. These are sort of the skinniest of all of the straight leg fit that we had here, um, and that's kind of what made me like them the least. ASOS denim, I really like ASOS denim, really do. Jen, I think it has a great denim, um, but the slight stretch that these have sort of made them look the cheapest as well, and they felt the cheapest, which was fine because they were the cheapest, but they weren't. I don't know, when, when I compare them to things like the And Other Stories ones, I would definitely recommend, uh, recommend them over these. However, that being said, they were so, so comfortable. Um, and I do really like the step hem. I think they're really good at doing little things like this. And this is the first example of how much it will fray once you've washed them. So I much prefer this look. It's a much more natural look. And you can, of course, just chop these really long threads off. Um, and the actual, but I'll put a close up in here, but the actual hem has frayed really nicely as well as getting these long stringy bits, which you could chop off if you didn't like them. But I personally really like them and I think it makes it look a lot better. So whenever I get frayed hem, I would always just stick them in the wash straight away so that that goes like that. Um, but yeah, these, these ones are in the next spot. They are really good jeans though for the price. Just remember to go for a size up if you're an odd waist size. And when you look at them on the model, they, they don't really look like that in real life, I don't think. She obviously has super, super slim legs, which is me, meaning the jeans look like they sit away from the leg a little bit more. Whereas over my thighs, they were quite tight and just sat away from the calf. But if you wanted to kind of, if you were like someone who loved skinny jeans, and always wore your skinny jeans and wanted to dip your toes into the straight leg jean world, these would be a good pair to start with because you do still have quite a skinny fit to them. Next spot is gonna be the Gap ones, and these actually have had a really slight change in them in the wash in that the hem, um, not the hem, the seam, sorry, on the leg seems to have twisted just on the left leg a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see that here, like when I'm holding it straight. See a little bit more, can you see how that hem's coming up into the middle? really weird because really weird, it hasn't done that on the other leg and I'm not sure why it's done that. Um, so these have changed a little bit in the wash but it's not too, but they still look really great on, it's not really changed how they look, it's just a bit weird. Um, again, you can see how much that this is frayed, you've got some good stringy bits going on. I really have been impressed with these jeans. Um, I think as well that they've got them in lots of different styles and colours, there's always a credit to them because you can go and buy, repurchase them in a different style if you really like them and oh it's covered in threads from the asos ones um yeah the fit of these was really really great they were really comfortable i like the fact that they're sort of while being super structured they're still not stretchy but they're slightly thinner which does make them way more comfy and it's going to make them great for spring and summer so they're definitely a good piece to purchase now so in second place i'm going to put the and of the stories ones i really really like these jeans definitely want to try out more of and of the stories denim 
This is the first pair I have from them, I think. Um, and just so you can see how much this is frayed as well, just for reference, we've got a super long one here. Uh, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely heavy denim. It's slightly less comfortable than the Gap ones because they're as thicker, but the heaviness gives it just a really different sort of structure. Um, and I think it's quite a flattering structure because it means it skims your hips really, really nicely. And it's quite slimming around the waist. I don't have curves around my waist and hips. I'm quite straight down. But they make me look curvier than I am, which is always a good thing in my books. Um, and yeah, they're just really, really, really good jeans for a really good price, I think. Really good high street denim that doesn't look cheap, doesn't feel cheap. Getting the style really, really right. Um, just really, really been impressed with them. And... As all the others have washed fine, but remember, size up because they are quite small fitting, especially over getting them over your bum. Now, this leaves in the top spot. This is actually something worth noting that I think the ASOS ones are molting quite a bit because all of these are covered in bits of thread. Um, but yeah, leaves me with the Ray jeans in the top spot. You guys know that I'm not a massive advocate of high end denim at all. I think the high street do it really, really well, and most of my denim collection is high street, but I absolutely loved these. And these are like up against the odds because I wasn't expecting to favour the most expensive pair, and I've been so impressed with them. Um, I feel like excited about this brand, which is really nice. I feel like I've found a denim brand that works really well for me, that has great styles. It's a reasonable price point, it's a bit of luxury, but we're not like in the £200 plus realm of like J Brand and Citizens of Humanity and things like that. Um, so these just fit beautifully. They're just the perfect amount of straight leg, like not too wide that they could be unflattering, but also they're definitely not skinny. The denim is the perfect weight. Um, it's thicker than the Gap ones. They're just as comfortable as the Gap ones though. Slightly thicker than the Gap ones, but it still has a softness and like a suppleness to it. That means they're really comfortable, but still beautifully structured. So I feel like they've got everything right. The wash of it, is lovely. I often find that washers that are slightly lighter in the middle can be super unflattering, very cheap looking, but these just look absolutely great. Um, I'm so impressed and so, I feel like really excited that I found this brand that I really like for denim and definitely, they have them in a washed black, this particular style, would definitely go and get them in a different colour, would definitely try out different styles that they have to offer because I'm seriously, seriously, seriously impressed. Like, out of all of them, these just fit in just a different way, in a way that I've never found. It's a straight leg style of jean that fits in that way. Um, what was I going to say? There was something else I was going to say. Oh yeah, the hem has also frayed a little bit more. They've all kind of frayed similarly, I guess. You've got some long stringy bits. So just to be clear, do not wash your jeans all the time. These will not be going in the wash for a long time for me because that will just, you know, I would imagine it would get worse and worse. But generally, the less you wash your jeans, the better. So don't be washing them after the first wear. But these are in the top spot. No one is more surprised than me. I'm never really an advocate for super high-end denim, but these are just absolutely fantastic and completely recommend. So that was all of the jeans. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I feel really pleased to have found five straight leg jeans that I really like. I know they're so hard to find on the high street or just generally they're really hard to find unless you want to traipse through vintage shops and struggle in finding the right size so yeah these are all fantastic jeans um as i said there's going to be a list of what is coming up with testing basics in the description box and all links for everything's there as always thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one